Movement 2, Children's Gallery by Norman Delegio. That's okay. I thought the beginning was really nice. Take a little bit more of a breath, like you have to create. Do it, do it as if you have to create the sound with your exhale. Just like you would if you were singing or playing an instrument, you know? Does that make sense? So that has to be that has to create the downbeat. Very nice. I uh, was that. Let me ask you: Was it intentional? The second bar, the second four-four, right? The transition to hold that last beat longer. I liked that. Never thought about. It. I'm never. I don't know if anybody's ever done that before. I liked it a lot, right? So you almost treat it like a fermata, but it was an organic fermata, right? Digga 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 da, right? I like that. I liked it. New, fresh, good. Can now this is a general thought thought for everybody. Does anybody notice, at least I do, do you notice how um, easy it is to focus, at least for me, it's so easy to focus on the baton when there's a solid color, you know, you got just a solid, plain solid, top, bottom, that sort of thing. And I mean, come on, you know, we're talking about what you wear, but it, it does, it allows focus. Again, we're, we're removing distraction, you know, rather than like tie-dye. Not that you'd wear tie-dye to conduct in a concert, but you might. Yeah. All right. Um, what comments from the group? Oh. Comments. I'm pretty sure it's the same comment. Um, I like that you stretch the fourth beat, but the way in which your uh, baton like paused, it made it unclear whether or not you wanted the breath or not. I did want the breath. You did? I did. Maybe you should breathe. Then you should what? Breathe. Yes. <laughs> then you should breathe. Perfect. Yeah. I think that would be the difference. You could do. You can do everything exactly the same, and and by breathing, it'll shut. That that's really all the information you need. But also, when you breathe, it also will affect your what you do here just slightly. So, you know, so just doing that will will give all the info we need. Yeah, good. Other comments? Really, it's not your fault. Really, it's their fault because they're like lounging like Ginsburg does, and they weren't taking in enough air. And if they, had... I'm just kidding. You are so. Oh my gosh! I took a huge breath. Hey, hey, hey Ron. They're laughing because I said hey, hey Ron. Oh, okay. I think you could also like take it even a step further and like when you do that breath into the six eight, like breathe it as if it's one of those deep notes. So like feel it that way also to kind of make the transition. Somebody in the hall? Like playing in the hall? Do you by chance know what a half breath is? Okay, never mind. Well, I do. So it's like you wanna so yeah, it's like when you get to the very top, you breathe as your baton like comes down. That's kind of like a thing that we do all the time. It like it creates less of a space uh, in the sound, and it's also it still gives us enough time to take in air. So I don't know, maybe you can look into that for a chance. That'd be a helpful tool for us. Yeah, I'm not sure if singers do it as much, no, but it's a little bit. I just never heard it called. Like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's just what Dr. Sandler calls it. Mm -hmm. so like, she calls it a third breath. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Five eighths breath. Yeah. Okay, let's do it again. One more time. <laughs> You're so disappointed. You're like, I said something. No.
super Did it? Helpful. It, felt, it was yeah. super helpful. <laughs> you know what she needed? What do you play? Any kind of? A, do you, what do you sing? You can sing. You know, just start. I'm not very good at do you sing through? Well, when you're alone and practicing, do you sing through? Do you sing through these? You should. Okay, you should. I was gonna say, grab a recorder and play through. <laughs> but, but sing through it and just notice how you breathe or how you need to breathe, right? Um, even things like, even things like, what quantity breath do you need to, to take? You know, like if you go, if you want to go. Dun 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 da 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 and you're running out of breath, you need to know you like, oh I need to show a bigger breath because we need a bigger breath. It'll just help um, educate yourself through that. So sing through these, notice where you need to breathe or where you want to breathe and how you need to breathe. And that's the then that's by doing that, just by that breath, it gives us the education that or the information we need. Does that make sense? Okay. All right, other comments? Thank you very much.